We know that DCIS is a non-invasive cancer, but that most women are required to have treatment. We know currently that about 30% of newly diagnosed cancers is represented by DCIS. Most individuals with DCIS will undergo treatment. For many women, they will have breast conserving surgery followed by radiation treatment. However, treatment guidelines do recommend that breast conserving surgery alone without radiation treatment may be an option for women at low risk of local recurrence. The challenge is that traditional clinical and pathological factors do not reliably identify women at low risk of recurrence. So at the present time, we know that some women receive unnecessary treatment or are overtreated. On the other hand, we know that some women with DCIS are undertreated. Biomarkers are needed to help improve risk stratification and risk assessment of DCIS and help guide our treatment recommendations. The Oncotype DCIS score is a 12 gene assay derived from 21 genes from the Oncotype DX recurrence score. It's expressed as a continuous score from 0 to 100 and individuals also are placed into three predefined risk categories. The DCIS score quantifies an individual's risk of developing local recurrence at 10 years following treatment by breast conserving surgery alone. Now recently the ECOG E5194 investigators evaluated the DCIS score as a predictor of local recurrence. In this clinical trial, which included highly selected women treated with breast conserving surgery alone, the DCIS score was associated with local recurrence and it was associated with invasive local recurrence um, unadjusted for other factors. However, the extent to which those findings apply to a general population of women with DCIS remains unclear. We established a population-based cohort of women diagnosed with pure DCIS in Ontario. We performed a pathology review of cases treated with breast conserving surgery and we identified 571 women for which we were able to obtain tissue blocks treated with breast conserving surgery alone with confirmed negative margins. And in our study, we measured the DCIS score in all patients, and we found that the DCIS score was an independent predictor of local recurrence. It was also associated with ipsilateral invasive recurrence. We also found that individuals in the low risk group had significantly lower 10 year risks of recurrence compared to those with intermediate and high risk scores. Our findings are important because it, the predictive ability of the DCIS score with local recurrence in a population of women with DCIS. It can provide individualized estimates of the risk of recurrence. The importance of this finding is that it can help provide clinicians and patients with more accurate individualized estimates of recurrence for individuals who are considered for treatment by breast conserving surgery alone. Hopefully this can help better identify those at low risk of recurrence that do not require any further treatment and those at higher risk that can benefit from effective treatments.